Welcome to the Mars Sound Archives. I'm Chuck Haddix, Curator of Collections. The Sound Archives was established in 1986 with a foundation gift donated by Gaylord Marr and his wife Olga. Marr was a professor of communication studies here at UMKC and a pioneer in using audiovisual materials in the classroom. Since then, the collection has grown to include over 400,000 sound recordings including 30,000 16-inch radio discs. The focus of the collection is the American experience as reflected in recorded sound, but we're also known for our jazz collections, a collection of classical music, opera, spoken word recordings, and pretty much all genres of American music, including blues, soul, rhythm and blues, rock and roll, folk. Commercial recordings in the collection are available through our online catalog, Merlin, you can search by title of song, by performer, by title of album, and also by the genre of music. Our non-commercial recordings are available in our finding aids on our website, and they're organized by the donor. The Sound Archive has been a leader in the field of audio preservation since 1992. Originally, we would record preservation copies to open reel tapes and service copies to cassette tapes. Today, we do things a little bit differently. We're all digital and we record in danger formats, uh, such as open reel tapes and lacquer discs. Those are the 16 inch radio discs I was talking about. We record them as WAV files, uncompressed WAV files. And then we, using FTP protocol, we move those files to the server farms in the library technology office at MU, where they're stored in deep storage. We also provide preservation services for institutions and individuals. The sound archives includes a wide variety of formats, including LPs, 78s, open reel tapes, 45s, and the collection's organized by label and issue number. That gives it a permanent place on the shelf and also brings together duplication. We use the vintage audio that you see here in the stacks area to explain to tour groups the evolution of audio. For example, the first recordings were done to wax cylinders and technology was developed by Thomas Edison in the uh, 1870s. It was his favorite invention because he uh, was deaf. The new technology immediately took off and every parlor had a cylinder player to entertain guests that were coming by. In 2011, the Miller Nichols Charitable Foundation funded the construction of the robot, an on-site automatic retrieval system which holds over 800,000 books, manuscripts, and sound recordings. This gives us a place for our stuff with ample room to grow. The robot is four stories tall with two aisles of bins that hold books and other bound materials, and one aisle that holds shelving units full of archival materials. Users can request material through the library catalog and a robotic cherry picker retrieves the container that holds the requested item. I hope that you've enjoyed your tour of the Mars Sound Archives. We are home to resources that make this library unique and hope that you will take full advantage of these incredible collections in the future. Thanks once again for stopping by.